Hi, I'm Anthony Gosh, a consultant spinal neurosurgeon and the founder of the Spine MDT. In this video, we're going to debunk some myths about the effects of running and the spine, but also when you can return to running after spine surgery or exercise or sport and what the actual literature, the actual medical evidence suggests. Often patients I meet have been told previously not to go running when they have back pain because it might make it worse due to running being a high impact exercise or something like that um, causing damage to the spine. Well actually that's not true and none of the medical evidence suggests that. This review in BMC musculoskeletal disorders has looked at all of the literature and found that in running related injuries the more common ones seems to be ankle, knees, possibly hips, but far less so in the spine, almost suggesting that running could actually be a preventative factor um, for lower back pain. He fits from the advice given by Peter O'Sullivan in my recent interview with him about how the spine generally just needs to move around. Exercise, moving around, getting blood flow to the spine is certainly what helps with back pain. So overall, running is actually good for the spine and there's no evidence to support uh, not running. That said, I do meet patients who do feel a lot of pain if they do try and run and they really enjoy running, but they can't because that actually aggravates the pain. So what do you do in that scenario? Well, in terms of running related injuries in general to other parts of the body, there's been a lot of speculation and interest in running techniques, specifically foot strike technique, i.e. which part of your foot hits the ground first. So in the journal, the orthopedic journal of sports medicine, um, a big review of all the literature um, was carried out looking at that. Now, historically, an interesting an interesting uh, fact I found is that many years ago, just trainers, good running shoes were just not available. And with the evolution of trainers, believe it or not, we as humans have actually evolved in the way we run with, you know, really good cushioning on our feet, on the soles of our feet. You're able to land on your heel a lot harder and that's called heel striking and that's something that we've kind of evolved into with the advent of trainers um in because of the trainers you can transfer a lot more energy that way and there's some evidence that if you sort of land hard hard with your heel first there is a slightly greater risk of injury injuries to other joints in general now this hasn't been proven for, for the spine but it has been shown in other bodies and a slightly lower risk overall in the literature if you land in the mid or forefoot if you modify um, the running technique so there's some evidence to support that for joints in general however trying to modify the technique to a way that feels unnatural to you um, has been shown in some studies to actually cause injuries so trying to put all that together what i often advise patients if the running is actually causing uh, back pain let's say there's a slight rupture in your disc it's slightly unstable rather than trying to modify your running or omit running altogether try walking first on a treadmill and then if you have access to a treadmill and then try setting the treadmill on a slight incline and then see what a fast pace walk then a jog feels like if you run uphill slightly, you're more inclined to land naturally on the forefoot rather than the, on the heel and transfer less energy into the back. Now, there's no actual medical evidence to suggest this helps, but it is generally more comfortable doing so. But what about after spine surgery? Let's say you've undergone a microdiscectomy, a lumbar decompression, or even a fusion. When should you return to running? When is it safe to return to exercise and running? This review has actually shown that all the leaflets given out to patients, um, it looks at all the leaflets given out to patients from different hospitals um, about following spine surgery and found that very little of the advice given is based on any evidence and anything from six weeks to six months is prescribed. So our orthopedic colleagues in uh, Colorado published this study looking at young athletes and adolescents, how quickly they returned to normal activity based on the advice of their surgeon and how many of them got to their preoperative ability um, at, at these different stages and the biggest factor which uh, determines how quickly you can return to playing sport um, at the ability you could at the physical ability you could before the operation is how quickly your surgeon allows you to return to sport so those that returned within um, the first four to eight weeks seem to do the best with up to 96 of them being back to their pre-surgical levels but we do have to weigh this up with the complication rate in this type of surgery. About 19% of uh, these cases do report some form of complication, which includes 
fracture of the instrumentation and infusion surgery as well, a failure of the bones to, to fuse together. So this needs to be weighed up. So based on all of this and weighing it up, what I advise patients is immediately after this surgery is to get out of bed and start walking. That does actually aid uh, the recovery because walking is absolutely fine. Um, there is no evidence about impact itself causing back pain. And we know if you haven't had an operation, but if you have had surgery, I do worry about the disc being a bit disrupted and more fragments loosening and coming out if you've had a microdiscectomy. And I also don't want any metal work. If you had metal work put in you, I don't want that to loosen or fracture. So what I advise is start walking around immediately. If you have access to a treadmill, start seeing how comfortable you feel with an incline on that and maybe a brisk walk on that after say two weeks or so. And at that stage, a light jog on an incline where you're less likely to have that heel strike on the on the ground and therefore less energy coming from the ankle all the way up to the spine i think that's okay within the first few weeks and then by week six to eight or thereabouts i think then you can get back into your normal running and then heavier contact sports possibly as early as three months i think should be okay now remember every patient is unique and that's my own personal advice so please be guided by the advice of your surgeon who's actually seen you and knows your case a lot better if you found that video helpful please click the like button and subscribe it really helps patients suffering with spine disease or back pain uh, find information that i try and post on this channel every week if you are troubled with back pain or neck pain or any spine disease please take our free online assessment tool at spinemdt.com we find the least invasive solution that gives the longest lasting result and we're able to do that with our care programs uh, that bring together all the different practitioners of spine care so osteopaths chiropractors uh, physiotherapists pain specialists but with the programs and the oversight uh, under a spine surgeon thank you